In today's video, you will be learning how to create this in After Effects. If you love what I do and if you want to support me, you can always join the membership. By doing that, you'll get an early access to all the videos that I will be posting. And apart from that, in future, we'll be doing members only, live stream and much more. I'm going to select this footage, drag and drop it inside the new composition. Go to window and enable this tracker. And I'm going to move down this tracker window down somewhere here. And I'm going to start tracking the motion so track motion zoom in and identify the high contrast area on the memory card so hit this analyze forward so as you can see here the tracking has failed so i'm gonna do it manually like that and let's do it again and i'm gonna stop there and go frame by frame hit this analyze frame by frame like this you can go there and right there you have some reflection on the memory card that's where the tracking information is not accurate so you can reposition this and go frame by frame like this reposition that again by the way if you hit page down you can go by frame by frame All right, once the tracking is complete, you can go and create a null object, layer new and null object. And I'm gonna rename this to tracking information and select the footage, edit target and select that, hit okay. And I'm gonna apply that. Let's test this out by drawing a shape here. And I'm gonna link the shape to the tracking information and if you play it back and it's perfectly tracked if you haven't followed us on instagram go follow us on instagram and join the telegram channel to get updated with upcoming tutorials and be a part of the motion designers community i'll create a new composition 400 by 600 pixel i'm going to create a new solid make it white hit ok select the rectangle tool selecting on the layer and double click to draw a mask control and drag this to make it smaller from both sides hit F to feather it and I'm gonna create the mask animation so move it down and I'm gonna animate the mask from bottom to top hit M on the keyboard set a keyframe go few frames and double click move it up I also did an opacity animation from 0 to 100 and from 100 to a 0 select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy ease or f9 go back to the footage composition and drag in this card glow pre-comp inside this try to match the size with the memory card like this once you're done you can parent the layer to the tracking information layer you can also play with different blending modes i'll stick with add now i'm going to draw a shape layer like the size of the memory card to mask out the glow so pen tool and draw a mask parent it to the tracking information so i'm gonna trim this and we're gonna mask that since we are not using a planar tracking our mask is moving around the memory card so we're gonna fix that by adding keyframes on the position of the mask so hit p and we have to reposition it slightly to match the size of the memory card now import your screen captured video inside your project create a new composition 800 by 400 pixel and rename it screen hit 
OK. Select the rounded rectangle tool and double click. That will create a new shape layer. And I'm going to rename this mask. Duplicate it and go to fill and X that out. And I'm going to add a yellow stroke. Rename the layer stroke. Drag in the screen recorded video. Change this track mat to mask like this. You can reposition the screen recorded video. If you want to scale it, you can scale it and do whatever you want. Once you're done, you can close this screen pre-comp and drag in the pre-comp, which is screen here. And I'm going to select the pen behind tool and move it down here. Hit S and I'm going to set a keyframe here. Go back and set this to zero and select all the keyframes. Right click, easy ease. Go to the graph and I'm going to change the graph to something like this. You can reposition the screen comp and parent this to the tracking information. Control D to duplicate it two times and go to the effects and presets and type in Luma and drag in that on top of that layer. And I'm going to set this threshold to 50. Go to the next one, hit T and lower the opacity to 50. And I'm going to select the last one, hit F4 to show up this and change this to uh, adjustment layer. And I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to that layer. And I'm going to increase the Gaussian blur. Double click on the screen. We're going to change this stroke color to something like blue color. Let's pick this color, hit OK. All right, let's create a new composition. Composition, and we're gonna set this to 1000 by 1000. And I'm gonna rename this video, hit OK. Select the rounded rectangle tool, double click to create a new shape layer. And we're gonna rename this stroke, scale it down a little bit select the layer Control d to duplicate and move it down and rename this mask go to the stroke and x that out and we're going to add a white fill we're going to drag in the logo inside the composition so drag and drop in just above the stroke and we're going to scale it down like this select the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse Rename this mask. I'm going to duplicate this, Control D, and go to fill and X that. And we're going to add a blue color stroke. Set the track mat of the logo to the mask. Select these three layers and pre compose it. Control Shift and C. Rename this logo, hit OK. I'm going to skate it down, move it up. Create a new composition, 500 by 500 pixel. Rename this to 1 and hit OK. And we're going to import the video asset inside this. Scale it down to fit the comp size. Go to the project panel and select this one pre-comp. Control D to duplicate. Double click to open the comp. And we're going to replace the existing video file and I'm going to drag in a new footage. I'm going to do the same, scale it down to fit the composition. I'm going to repeat the exact same step. You can duplicate two more copies of that and you can replace those pre-coms with a different video files. Once you're done, select these pre-coms from the project panel, drag it inside the composition and you can scale it down and position it in grid, just like this. Change the color of the mask to a darker color. I'm gonna instead rename it to BG for background. All right, select all the three comps, hit S, go few frames ahead, set a keyframe, go back to the first frame, set it to zero, Select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, go to the graph and change the graph to something like this. 
All right, we're gonna offset the timing of the animation of each layer by offsetting the timing like what I'm doing here. Go to the footage composition and drag in the video precom inside this and you can scale it down and reposition wherever you want and we're gonna link this layer to the tracking information again like this now find the timing of your finger gesture and set your time indicator double click on that video pre-comp and we're gonna select all these layers hit p set a keyframe move few frames ahead and i'm gonna move this to the left side except for the logo layer i'm gonna undo that and i'm gonna move it again to the left side select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy is i'm gonna also add an opacity animation set a keyframe go a few frames and set it back to zero now i'm gonna repeat the exact same steps for each and every video assets that i have and i'll be right back after that just like the screen layer animation the scale animation we're gonna animate the video scale like this right click keyframe assistant and easy ease go to the graph and tweak the graph something like this inside the video pre-comp set your time indicator to the beginning of this clip here go back to the footage and we're gonna drag and drop the footage right exactly on that time indicator and we're gonna parent that to the tracking information layer and we're gonna scale it down and try to match and try to match the size and position okay zoom in and we're gonna scale it and try to match this exact size once you are done with that trim the layer Control shift and d and delete the first one hit p hold on shift and s set a keyframe for the scaling position and scale it up once you press on that memory card select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy ease go to the graph and change the graph to something like this create an adjustment layer and move it just below the layer go to the effects and presets and apply a Gaussian blur effect on that layer and animate the blurness amount from 0 to 20 like what I'm doing here watch this next video to learn more on these types of after effects tutorials thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video take care